everyone, my name's Sinead and I just wanted to do a little video showing you my Snow White collection. I have a, a few little things in my collection that I really love. I want to make it bigger, especially for Snow White because Snow White to me, every time I see anything with Snow White on it, it just feels so Disney, like just Disney personified, I think because it's, she's the one who started it all um, and she's the first ever Disney princess and just real representative of Disney. I feel like she's like the mascot for Disney. I think a lot of people feel that way about Belle, um, but I feel that way about Snow White, even though I love Belle equally. I love all the Disney princesses. So um, yeah, I'll just get started and show my bits and bobs I have. So the first thing I have here is a figure and it's a Romero Brito figure. I hope I'm pronouncing that okay. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, but this is a little figure that I got quite a few years ago, actually, probably about eight or nine years ago. And this, um, yeah, 2011 Romero Brito. So this cost $39.99. I still have the the tag, actually, the price sticker on the back of it. I should really take that off. But it's been sitting in a glass case for years. And what I love so much about this figure is her skirt and her pose. And just her face is so beautiful. I think he got her face dead on. And I know the Romero Brito figures aren't for everyone. I know that they're really unique and some people don't like the patterns. This and a little mini and Mickey figure that I got as a gift are the only Romero Brittos that I own. Um, I probably would get more if I spotted ones that I really like or love. But this is the only one I have so far princess wise or kind of large wise um, in size but yeah I probably will get more in the future I'll have to look out for them I tend to focus on the gym shores and I think that I should take a look at some more Brittos so this is lovely this I got in a local store about eight or nine years ago that does like a lot of Disney gym shore stuff and things like that so I was really happy to get this and then the next thing I have here are two mugs. Um, so the first mug is from Disneyland Paris from, again, probably 10 years ago when I first went to Disneyland Paris. Actually, probably more, about 11 or 12 years ago because I went in school. And this I love because it's so kind of pop arty and so comic booky. So on this side, it has the evil queen and it says, sometimes I'm an evil queen. And then on this side, it has Snow White and it says, sometimes I'm a total princess. And I love the retro feel to it. I love this shape mug. I know that sounds weird, but I love the kind of shorter, wider mugs. I think it's really, really pretty and cool. And yeah, like I said, this is from Disneyland Paris. I can't remember the name of the store. I never, never remember the names of these shops in any of the Disney parks, but this is from Disney Village, one of the gift shops, one of the fashion ones. And yeah, this is my favorite Disney mug that I own and I own quite a few. So really, really cool, very retro. And the next one I have here is another Disney mug. And this one is just a simple one. So it says, it has Grumpy. And it says, who are you calling? Grumpy, <laughs> really, really cool. Um, Grumpy is my favorite dwarf, I know. A lot of people's favorite dwarf is Dopey, but Grumpy is my number one. And I got this from my fiance, um, I think probably about five years ago in our local Tesco, which is just like a supermarket. It was really cheap. It was like six euro or something, but it's one of his favorite mugs. Um, Cause as we know, we can all be a little bit grumpy in the mornings before we've had our coffee and before we've kind of come to. And I think that he, didn't appreciate it at the time when I got it, but now he does, I guess. Um, so yeah, really cute little mug, really nice color. And the next thing I have to show you is another thing from Disneyland Paris. And this is, it's it's definitely my top two, um, my top two Snow White things that I have. And it's a lovely little glitter globe. So this I got in 2012 when I went to Disney in Paris for my 21st birthday and I think it's gorgeous it's Snow White and it's obviously the sequence in the movie where they're playing the instruments and dancing around which is one of my favorite moments 
and it has all the guys playing their instruments and doing their little dances and just being cute. So, except for Sneezy. What I find so funny is everyone else is doing something and Sneezy's just like sneezing. So yeah, really, really cool little globe. Um, so you can see the little Disneyland Paris authentic logo there. And unfortunately, I don't really recall the prices of that or any of the other things because, but, well, other than the Brickhouse figure because it, it's over 10 years ago or almost 10 years ago. But I'm sure you could buy them on eBay or look them up if you really wanted to. Um, the next things I have here are from Primark or Pennies in Ireland, it's called. It's Primark in the UK. Um, and this first thing is a little sleep mask. So obviously it has sleepy and it says I just want to sleep with the little Z's, little Z's. And I don't like to wear this. Um, I don't like sleep masks. I also have an Aurora Sleeping Beauty one. But I love the way they look and I love having them on my dresser. Um, so I just have to get this. Now my, uh, my favourite thing about this one, if you ever were to wear it, is the fact that you can put a little cold pack in it and it actually came with one in there. So that's really nice. If you're into that sort of thing like I said I it freaks me out wearing these type of things like when I wake up in the morning if I was to have this on I'd be like oh my god but it still looks pretty cute it's kind of soft velvet so that is the eye mask or the face sleeping mask and then this is something that I use every day so I apologize for the state that it's in but I do use it every day so this is a hairbrush that I got in Primark or Pennies and it's plasticky hairbrush and how never. And next I have this, the fairest of them all and it is originally a pencil case I believe and it's from Typo. I got it on ASOS.com about two years ago and fairest of them all, it has two pockets. I use it at, and a little heart zipper actually. I use it as a makeup, like a makeup and um, you know, for like your feminine products and different things like that in your bag, in your handbag. So I use it for that purpose, but you can also use it as a pencil case for work or for school. Um, and I love the picture of Snow White on there with the flowers and the, it looks like a tattoo. It looks like it'd be a cool tattoo for someone. And I love her little bird singing around her. So, this is something that I use every day as well. I just emptied it for today. And because, who am I kidding? We're going nowhere. <laughs> so nowhere that we need makeup and accessories anyway. Um, and then here I have a little compact mirror and this, holding upside down. And this also says fairest of them all. And this I got as well in pennies. And it's just really pretty to have. I have quite a few compact mirrors and this would be one that I take around with me all the time. It says fairest of them all. So you can look in the mirror and be like, mirror, mirror in my hand. How bad do I look today or how good? Um, so yeah, really cute. Um, the next thing I have here is my most recent Snow White thing that I've gotten and I actually only got it this week. And it is a Jim Shore. Disney Tradition Snow White and this one is called Be a Dreamer which of course all of Disney people are anyway but this um I got pre previously owned from Amazon so I was so happy with the condition because I think this cost me 13 euro and then probably no it was free delivery because I have Prime so 13 euro you really can't go wrong in perfect condition beautiful so cute so um, if you've seen my Disney Traditions video or one or two of my other videos, I do have um, some of the other princesses. So I have Tiana, Aurora and um, Cinderella from this collection, the like sitting on their little stand collection. And um, this might be my favorite from them actually. I think she's the prettiest um, just in terms of design. The rest of them though, I say that. And then if you go back on my other videos, I've said that about all the other ones. So I love them all. She's just my new favorite until I get another one. 
Um, and then I have here just something small and cute, which is a little bully land figure of the evil witch. I did have the evil queen one. Um, and I still technically do have it, but my nephew has a loan of it, <laughs> has a lend of it from me. He took it one day when he was down here a few months ago just to play with, so yeah. But they're cute to have, they're great for little kids. Um, they sell them in a local store that I, that I would frequent, but they also do them online, I believe. They're just little bully land rubber figures. Some of them aren't that well painted, but this one and an Ursula one that I have are actually really, really cute and well done. So, and the next thing I have here is a vinyl record. So this is the Snow White soundtrack on vinyl. And this one is previously owned. It's a secondhand one that I got from a locally used record store. Um, that I would go into specifically for Disney records a lot because he will have some gems every now and again and they're really cheap because they're just really cheap and they're old and some of them aren't in great condition but I still love them. Um, this one is actually I think the second one I bought from him a couple of years ago. Um, now this one cost me five euro and that's because the cover has writing on it. Um, it's the only one that that has been that has happened to that I bought from him but I don't really care for some reason someone's wrote and or written their name and they've written bashful happy dopey grumpy sneezy sleepy and doc um I'm not sure why but maybe they just wanted to see could they remember the dwarf's names but it's lovely the cover is so nice this record is from 1970 and you can kind of tell by the cover, it's very late 60s, early 70s. I love Snow White's face in this one. I think the, the artwork on it is beautiful. And yeah, really happy to have this. It plays really well too. I have no trouble with this record. Um, it plays on my record player perfectly. It sounds lovely. And my favourite song from Snow White is One Song. Um... I just think it's one of the most romantic Disney songs ever. If you really listen to the lyrics, it's just beautiful. So that is the vinyl record that I have. Um, I plan on getting the more modern version, the like newish record, the picture disc one eventually. But for the moment, I'll, I'll be happy with what I have. Um, the next thing I have here, I showed in my thrift store video. This I got for like two euro in a secondhand shop, in a charity shop. And this is my favorite uh, storybook that I have. I have a huge collection of Disney storybooks at my mother's house, but I only have one or two with me in the house I'm in. And this is such a cool one. This is from the Disney animated series, The Wonderful World of Disney. And I love the pictures in this book. I think that it's very retro. I believe it came out in the 80s. Um, but some of the colors in it, are just so lovely and vibrant. And some of the artwork, or I'll actually show you the Evil Queen part, because that is like my favorite part of this book. She just looks so cool. And they've really done something unique with this book. I know it's just a kid's story book, but I'm actually really into the artwork in these kid's story books, to be honest. Um, that's something that I've always been a fan of. So, this is my favorite storybook I own, Disney-wise, I have to say. Um, and I own, like I said, I own quite a few from my childhood and from just collecting over the years. Um, this next one is just a simple little one that I got in a charity shop. It was like a euro or two euro and it comes with a CD. Um, and the CD actually is the, the sounds from the, the film. It's not someone redoing it. So I was happy about that. And this is in really good condition. I'll give it to my niece along with a few other things when she's old enough to be reading and stuff, but it's just really pretty. It's so great to, to get these little books for kids. So I think that they're absolutely beautiful. Um, so that is that. And if you can hear any noise in the background, it's my dog Stitch snoring. He's the loudest snorer ever. So I apologize, but what can I do? And yeah, these just remind me of um, growing up in the 90s and everything. We used to have the cassette tapes with the story and just very nostalgic. 
And this is a book that I have, which I showed the Little Mermaid one in my Little Mermaid collection video. It's from the animated classic series that they released a couple of years ago. This is from Amazon and it was $12.99. And what's lovely about these is that it's got the concept art as well as the pictures of the actual art from the film. So um, this is the story, the Snow White story, but it's a little bit more elaborate. Look how cool is that? This would be beautiful to have for your child or if you're a big child like me, but it's really, really cool to see. And they also have, so like that picture there of the dwarves initially to what they became really interesting but they also have introductions from Imagineers um, in each of these books so this one is from Eric Goldberg from the Walt Disney Animation Studios and he just gives an introduction about what was so important to him about Snow White and the animation of it so really really nice collectibles in my opinion I want to get the Lion King one and the Aladdin one as well because I'd say they're really cool to have and then the last thing in my Snow White collection, or actually the second last thing, is a set of four coasters. So these are from Pennies or Primark as well. And so you can see Friday Feels. I don't really like this, that saying too much. It's a little bit cooler than I am, but same with this one. Sorry, not sorry. But I love the Evil Queen on it. I just love the Evil Queen. She's one of my favorite villains. I think she is really underrated. And then Need Coffee, that's my favorite one because that is, I don't look that good when I wake up, but that is me every single morning. And then this one, Just One Bite, which is I think what we're all telling ourselves when we're snacking in this blooming quarantine. But it's just a really nice set to have. I just have it sitting out on my kitchen counter. I don't use them too often, but they're really, really cute, really nice to have. So that's my collection. I'm lying. That's not my collection finished. The last two things I want to show you are this book. So this is a book um, by Liz Braswell. And um, this book is actually by Jen Cal Calanita. I'm very sorry. I'm so used to these Twisted Tales being by Liz Braswell. This is Mirror Mirror a Twisted Tale and this book I just recently read and I want to do a review on because I really really enjoyed it. Um, so this is part of a series of Twisted Tale books I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with. Um, and this one is probably one of my favourites. So the concept of this book is what if the evil queen poisoned the prince? And this is just a really cute series of books to have. Really interesting kind of um, take on the the Disney tales, particularly for the villains. And these are on Amazon. They're genuinely quite affordable. They're like 10 euro or under, or probably less than pounds. So I just got the paperback version of a lot of them. And this last thing I just wanted to show you is not technically a Snow White item, but it's a bag that I got on Wish and it's a red apple bag, obviously, with lovely gold zippers. This is a really, really good bag. And this I got because I went to Disney World in February and I bounded for a day as Snow White. So I had an outfit that looked similar and then I wore this bow and then have this lovely bag. So this was on Wish and this was definitely under 10 euros. I think it was probably 11 euros altogether, including delivery to Ireland. So I just was really happy with it. And it, it's not round on the other side, it's flat. So it sits nicely on your hip. So I got a lot of compliments on this bag in Disney World by cast members, which I was so happy about. So that's all I have in my Snow White collection. Um, it's just a, a few little bits, but I absolutely love them, particularly my Jim Shore and my Romero Brito and my books. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing them. I'll probably be doing another collection on another princess or character soon. But for right now, take care.